In this video, we're going to be showing you how to do an incline bicep curl correctly so you can build your arms and look after your joints. So first thing you should know about an incline bicep curl is when you've got a bench flat, for every incline, depending on which bench that you have, but for most good benches like a Life Fitness or Atlantis bench, for every time you raise the bench, it's gonna represent 15 degrees. So when we're doing an incline uh, bicep curl, this is 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees. So we're either gonna be using a 45 degrees or a 60 degrees. For the for purposes of this video, we're gonna stick it to the 60 degrees, although, we do do a lot of work here at Enterprise Fitness on the 45 degree angle, but let's stick it to 60 degrees for Liam today. Uh, what he's gonna do is he's gonna jump down, he's gonna grab the dumbbells. So some key points and coaching tips when people are doing incline um, dumbbell curls is lie back on the bench, Liam. So he's gonna outstretch his arms, as you can see. So one of the cues that I use with clients is flex the triceps, pull the wrists back, like you were Spider-Man trying to shoot some webs, now curl. So the great thing about an incline bicep curl is that it does stretch the bicep and elongate, cool, and curl. Perfect, stretch, and leans a little bit like this is very, uh, what most clients will do is they will pull forward from their chest. So just exaggerate that lean, pull forward, and doing that moves the elbow position and shortens the range of motion, really. And for Liam's a prime candidate where really you wanna pull the shoulders back, pull the wrists back, keep, them, keep yourself pinned there, now curl. That's perfect there. Squeeze nice and hard, all the way down. Squeeze nice and hard, all the way down. Perfect, and that's how you do uh, incline dumbbell curl. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more great exercise tutorials just like this one.